Praise the Lord. You're tuned in to WGUP, Prayer, Praise, and Poetry with yours truly, Rosalind D. Banks, a.k.a. the Poetic Princess. And today is a very special day. It's Friendly Friday. Amen. Friendly Friday. That means call a friend, love a friend, hug a friend, and let them know that their friendship means the world to you. Amen. We thank God for you on today, and we want to celebrate and say Happy Mother's Day to all of us that will be celebrating Mother's Day on Sunday. So I want to say an early Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. And our poem of the day is actually going to be a Mother's Day poem. It's going to be a tribute to the mothers and also a tribute to the older mothers that are probably grandmothers. Amen. So this is our poem of the day. A Mother's Love. As I rise in the morning, her love is there to greet me, giving me courage to face the day, feeling nothing can defeat me. She stands by my side when no one else cares. She takes away my fears, my burdens she kindly bears. Even in times when I haven't been a loving child, she forgives and loves me, understanding all the while. She never expects me to be perfect, but the best that I can be. Throughout the years, I can't thank God enough for the love she's given me. Giving me standards that I can live by, being there to dry my tears every time I cry. Even in my failures, there were times she could have said, I told you so. But instead, she'd encourage me to try again, allowing her love to show. A mother's love is perfect because God made every perfect thing. And I thank him for a love that truly makes my heart sing. A mother's love can never be replaced. It's truly one of a kind. And I wouldn't accept the world in place of a mother like mine. The greatest gift given to me next to Jesus is my mother, whose love strengthens me day by day. Thank you, Jesus, for a wonderful mother. And that was a point that I wrote to my mom, Yvonne Davis, who's gone on to be with the Lord. Amen. And I know that all of you are thanking God for your mothers and especially those of you that mothers are still here. Amen. Thank God for your mother and appreciate her every day because once she's gone, it's no feeling like not having your mother here with you. The next poem is entitled My Mother's Eyes. Her hair may be gray. Her body may be worn. She's grown weaker since the day we were born. Over the years, she's changed, but her eyes remain the same. Like when she first looked down at me, when into her life I came. The strength of a thousand men lie in her eyes, yet they're as gentle as the early sunrise. In the depths of her soul lies wisdom untold. Youth is preserved even as she grows old. Her love runs deeper than the deepest sea. Nothing can compare to the love she's given me. My mother's eyes are like sparkles that shine in the night. One glimpse of her eyes lets me know that everything will be all right. There's a special glow God placed in her eyes. She can see the truth and won't stand for lies. She looks upon her children and sees them as treasures. She'd never neglect them for this world's pleasures. In spite of the hurt and pain, even with the darkest skies, I can always find peace when I look into my mother's eyes. I pray that you were blessed by those poems. Amen. And again, that was a dedication to the mothers celebrating Mother's Day on Sunday. God bless you. And you keep those dolls locked to WGUP 107.9 FM, where we give unlimited praise.